RIP Nipsey, and yeah, glad that's over. I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. You guys probably heard about it, but yeah. Um, we got a Chicago robber. This man robbed a chicken shop or whatever, a Popeyes, I think, and he stayed to eat some of the chicken instead of leaving or instead of taking that shit to go. He stayed, ate a couple pieces of chicken, and then the cops came and he got arrested. Why would you stay at the crime scene to eat chicken? Take that shit to go and leave, bro. The man's like, you know what? I'm going to have a couple pieces of chicken quick, and then I'm going to dip. And then as he was dipping, the feds already pulled up. Come on, bro. What are you doing? I know he's greedy, too. He probably picked a big piece. Bro, put a bunch of chicken in your bag with your hands greasy and ting, and run out of there with some chicken in the money. Whatever. Of course, yes, he was black. Niggas. Like, then another nigga. Uh, next guy, Tennessee man. He the next guy robbed this robbed the store. He robbed the store. He dropped two bags of chips. So the two bags of chips are technically stolen. This one dude picked them up and started eating them, and he got arrested for theft. So he ended up catching the charge because they thought he was with him or whatever, accomplice to theft or whatever. But he caught a charge because he he decided to eat stolen chips that were on the ground like and he yes he was a nigga like why are, why are we so stupid <laughs> I'm not trying to be racist my bad but why why are people just so dumb like use your brain like like come on man if anything take the chips and dip why are you staying there eating the chips and then when the cops pull out they'll be like yo did you pay for those Nah, man, they were just right there. And then next thing you know, now you're in trouble. Come on, man. People are just stupid, bro. People are dumb. People are, like, hella dumb. I don't really understand why people like to do that, but whatever. And we got our final topic. The internet is just weird, right? People are crazy. So someone did this. Hold on. Let's see what happened. If I'm understanding this correctly, Sick met a random girl in Ranked, flew to Brazil to meet her, then posts a pic of them together when he's currently dating at Kiss UB. I have so many questions like what, how, why? He flew her out last night because we got in a fight. This is at QB, Kiss UB. He flew her out last night because we got in a fight. And he told people we're in an open relationship, but that's not the case, okay? What is it? But that's not the case. Forgive me, and then Kiss UB. She pulls out she pulls out the receipts. Forgive me for pointing no, this is oh no, this is I think this is the guy. This is the guy talking to her, I think. Forgive me for pointing out the elephant in the room, but do you not have a boyfriend? Oh, never mind. Wait, what's going on here? What's going on here? Okay. He flew out last night, said we're in an open relationship, but that's not the case. Oh, and then here are the receipts. Uh, this is a guy talking to her now. This is out of the receipts. Forgive me for pointing out the elephant in the room, but don't you have a boyfriend? No, he's, I was going to talk to you about that. But yeah, I'm still with him. We're in an open relationship now, though. This is her saying that we're in an open relationship after saying she's not in an open Dude, relationship. Dude, what the fuck? Like, I can see who I want. He doesn't even care. But I'm picky with guys who haven't really been lucky over here in America. He's okay with that? That's absurd. Each the, To each their own, though, I guess. Yeah, Americans are kind of stinky. Not going to lie. That's not me who said it. That's the guy. And then, and then, yo, I know we've never spoken, but I don't want to get in the middle of this shit. But Karis told me that you guys were in an open relationship, and I'm incredibly confused right now. Hello, I'm down to talk. Yes, indeed. She is lying. I'll be talking to her to court. I'll be taking her to court. Oh. Damn. So. He found out that she was cheating. She was saying that he was saying that they're in an open relationship when she was saying that they're in an open relationship that she was trying to talk to some niggas. And then it turns out that she was lying. And then goddamn. Y'all see that? Treacherous dog. Treacherous dog. I'm I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Don't women are scary. Don't lie. Women are very scary. Don't Treacherous say in this dunya, I tell you. Don't do that to us. Oh, my. Yo, this is the type of shit I'm, I'm talking about. It's the lies, bro. 
These bla- it's blatant it's blatant lies. It's like it's like it's it's the the lie is just so like oh you like ooh. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about I'm not talking about um this is just a quote because it's a woman that did it, but even men, like I'm, I'm talking about people in general. Lying like that to your significant other is freaking treacherous, yo. If you're gonna cheat, don't be in a relationship or ask for an open relationship. Don't lie and say you're in an open relationship so the other person feels comfortable. Then y'all y'all hook up. Then the other person, he's probably not even gonna talk to dude, right? Because he's like, oh, they're in an open relationship. He shouldn't care. That guy, bro code. Shout out to him. That was bro code. He goes, yo, I don't know what's going on in your relationship, but she's saying that y'all in an open relationship. He goes, yo, she's lying. I'm sending her to court. Then he flew to Brazil, F the girl, did what he did his thing. His girl got mad and said, and said, no, we're, we're not in an open he said we're he said we're in an open relationship, but we're not. Then the receipts came out. That is crazy. That's crazy. Wow. That is so crazy. Ooh, and, then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then on top of, oh, I didn't mean to play that, bye-bye. And then on top of that, the reason why he's taking her to court is because she, she broke a bunch of their, of her, of his shit, of his property. He broke, she broke a bunch of his property because, because of the cheating fiasco and all that, even though she was in the wrong. People are just so f- bad. I just don't understand why people are that bad. I just don't understand why people are just that that evil and that bad. Don't lie. If you if you want to be out of the relationship, be like, yo, man, I don't like this relationship anymore. I need to leave. I don't want to cheat. I need to leave. I think I'm going to end up cheating. I need to leave. And leave the situation. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyways, so... What we're going to do is we are going to end this pod. That was a very nice pod. An amazing pod. The, one of the best pods. You know what I'm saying? Um, we did our thing. We did what we could do. I hope you guys have a good time. Have a good day. Um, you already know what to do, what it is. Stay blessed. Stay tuned. Stay safe. Watch out for them people, man. People are evil. People are evil. Not, it's, not, it's not a woman. It's not a man thing. People are just evil in general. People are just hurt. They're evil. They want to hurt other people. Watch out for them. Don't be too nice to people. Stand your ground when you have to. But do it at the right time. All right? Adios. That was a dose of Eves. Y'all have a good one. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Peace. You already know.